Welcome! Today we're going to be taking a look at the Benchmade Osborne designed Switchback. This is a discontinued Benchmade model. Very neat model as well. So let's get down to the details. It has an aluminum or a blue aluminum handle, tip up handle, right or left hand carry. You can see satin screws and axis lock to give it a very nice contrast. On the non-display side, you have basically a mirror of the display side. Let's take a look at the blade. As you can see, very fast opening, just as fast closing. Love the axis lock. Uh, this has been a very used blade by someone. I'm guessing they used it for their everyday carry, which this knife is excellent for. You can see the Benchmade logo there, the model number 921. Almost a Warncliffe style blade, but has a little bit of an upsweep near the tip. So, very interesting blade shape. Has S30V blade steel, so this is a premium blade steel, and it is an Osborne design. Has the US patent number right there on it also. Has some scratches on the blade um, from regular use. Let's take a look at that. Very cool um, swedge as well, as you can see. Can't see it too much from the top, but very neat design blade, in my opinion. Dual thumb studs. Of course, it is an axis lock, so this knife is almost completely ambidextrous. What makes this knife cool is right here which is a secondary blade on the spine of the knife. The secondary blade is a slip joint, which is very unusual for Benchmade. I don't think they've made really any slip joint knives, which did a very excellent job with the secondary blade on here. Has almost a mirrored image of the first blade, but has some holes in it. Uh, very, uh, a copy of the blade shape, I should say. Has uh, a thumb neck only on the display side of the knife, none on the non-display side. Uh, this is a 440C instead of the S30V, um, if my research is correct. So, very sharp. This one doesn't have uh, any, well, may have some scratches. Scratches show up a lot on satin finished blades. Let's take a look at the centric on that. See there. Uh, looks pretty centered to me. This knife right to the right side looks like. Blade play, minimal. You can take away all that blade play if you tighten it up a bit. This is a, let's see. T6 from the Benchmade Blue Box. Um, there's a little bit more blade play earlier, and I just tighten it slightly. It'll open up, have absolutely no blade play, but it won't close as quickly or open as quickly. So I just. a little bit of blade play, and then it opens and closes very smoothly. Let's see if absolutely none up and down. Secondary blade. Mm, some left and right, you may be able to tighten that. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, you can. I'm not going to play with that right now. But very cool design. Love the handles. Not sure why Benchmade discontinued it, but they discontinue a decent amount of their knives. Butterfly on there, USA. I um, really don't know too much more to say about this. Some jimping on the back, not sure if I already talked about that. Not very functional. I mean, you can feel it, but it doesn't grip on. So, pretty slippery handles. Would not call it a tactical knife at all. Um... Blade length, I'm thinking it's somewhere around 3.5. Um, let's compare it to a Spyrka Paramilitary 2. 
so you can see right there. And the spec of paramilitary 2 is a 3.5. Uh, the secondary blade, I'm thinking 3 inches. No. I don't know. Don't have a measuring tape right here. But there you go. There is a look at the Benchmade switchback. Awesome little Benchmade knife. So, see you guys later. Have a great day. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. So, see you guys later. Have a great day.